Hello everyone. I wanted to remake this video on my new channel because there was a lot of interest I wasn't really able to respond to or help build on this this uh, technique I've got here for helping to move data from Excel into AutoCAD in, in, in a manner that would be useful maybe for some older drawings where there's lots of sporadic data or you need to bring lots of data in from lots of different spreadsheets on a project basis. So maybe 20 spreadsheets on project X and then 20 different spreadsheets on project Y. You want to culminate all this data and you keep a a standard format of the layout of, of the data in each spreadsheet. This would be a good way to bring that data in quick without having to maintain a link to a spreadsheet as you move the files. This would be a one-time move and it's it's unidirectional from Excel to to AutoCAD. So this project does not make use of any .NET or um, other SDKs, which I'll talk about in a minute. This is purely VBA and and um, and just the Excel object model and AutoCAD's object model. So what you see on the screen here, I have 12 uh, block references to a block I made called Excel Link. And within this block, I've got a workbook attribute, which shows the entire path to my workbook that I want to link that particular block to. It tells which sheet within that workbook under the worksheet attribute. Then the cell attribute is which cell within the sheet in the workbook that you want to reference. It's got another attribute called locked, and I'll, explore, I'll show this later, but what this does is that it allows you to keep the data from changing if you want to do subsequent imports from Excel into AutoCAD, whether you lock it or not, that's up to you. And then the Excel link, that's actually the text that is displayed. So what I'm going to do is, I've already got each of these linked. That one's A1, this one's A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, 2, 3, D1, 2, 3. So those are corresponding to this particular data over here in this Excel link spreadsheet. It can be named whatever you want. It doesn't have to be that. It's just easy for me to keep straight. So if you were to arrange these Excel link tags in a meaningful order within your, your drawing, and you have your data over here arranged where you want, what this will allow you to do is DB code, which I will show you in a minute, and I'll run Excel link and this is kind of slow because it's opening and closing workbooks. It could be a lot quicker, and it's actually much more quicker. I've already made one before using the OpenXML SDK, VB.net, and some other stuff. But this was to get the point across of how this works. So as you see, it came in here and it replaced all the text within uh, each one of these blocks with the data found at that reference in the attributes. You can change as many times as you want. Here's a... around the VB and it will update all of them with from those specific cells so it's a <clears throat> pretty powerful little tool it's like I said it's slow here if you do it with .NET and open up XML SDK it's instantaneous it's not slowly opening and closing workbooks to um, your data. So let me just let me do this. I'll lock this first one. So if I say it is locked and then I say I want all this data back in when it re-import it for whatever reason. Save my Excel spreadsheet to a VB run. It's gonna update every cell but the one that I locked, which is what I expected it to do. And at any time I can come back in and unlock it. 
reroute the BB, BBA code. Oh, we've got a problem. Maybe I didn't wait long enough. That's the problem with using not using the XML. Open XML SDK. We ran it and updated it. And who knows, maybe it hadn't closed the Excel application uh, in the background. So with that said, I'm going to now I'm going to reset those texts in case I need to remake this video or show it to someone else. Maybe set them back. Now I'm ready for next time. So the way this works is got my declarations up here. But what I do is I step through each entity within this drawing space. I'm not making a selection set and saying only update the ones I've selected. Um, I loop through each and I check and see if it's a block reference. If that particular entity is a block reference, I check the name of it. If the name of it matches my Excel link name, that's the block reference name I gave for those objects that we just saw on the screen. I grab all of the attributes out of there and just in case I got them moved around or had to recreate them, I loop through uh, the entire array of the attributes. And if the name matches the tag string that you see, let me do this. If the attributes tag string matches these over here within my work or within that block, so cell for the first one, I'm going to say, yep, I'll take the text string that's in that and I'll store it in cell on the next loop I'll get whichever attribute is indexed next and I'll take its text string and I'll grab all of those and then I store the attribute number that is associated with the Excel link just so if the order ever changed I grab it I come out and then I've got to use these other four to locate I guess three of the other four to locate the cell within the workbook and then with that stored value of the link ID, that's how I know which attribute to go back and update after I have done a workbook open. That's here. I go with that workbook, I open up the worksheet, I get, or I go to the worksheet and the cell values from the other attributes and I store them in the text string of that attribute. I update the block, close the workbook and quit, and then <clears throat> After that, it's on to the next Excel link block in a loop until we're done. That's one of the reasons this is so slow. Um, it could be done faster to go through and open up one book, one workbook for each reference in that, uh, or open up one instance of Excel it's work and a workbook for every Excel link block that I have referencing that workbook. This is opening and closing every attribute, so it makes it take, lo take longer. It could be faster here and with the open XML SDK, but that's what it does. It goes through, opens them one by one, builds the, the file name for the workbook, sets the value of that location in the worksheet in the workbook to the text value that's displayed or the attributes text value that's displayed within my block here. And that's how that works. So if you'd like to see this updated another way, to perform some more functions or do something that you're working on specifically, I'd be fine to, um, I'd be happy to build some more or help you make it work for your application. So just like, subscribe, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.